obviously they get that first goal, but you guys had some pushback there, tie the game up, end up taking the lead. What did you think of the way you guys were able to push back there after they get that first one? And just not well, the game to get away from you. I was really happy with it. You know, I thought that, uh, you know, we started slowly. They came after us. They were doing a good job of hemming us in a little bit. It led to, uh, it led to that goal. Uh, but I did feel that after that, I liked the way our team responded and got ourselves back in and obviously uh, got a lead and just weren't able to hold it. Question for me. Yeah, Coach, lot, the last couple of times you've played them, you've mentioned afterwards that you feel that you guys are a better team after going up against them because you know they're going to bring their best every night. Do you feel that way again tonight? And if so, what are – what are some of the things that, you know, kind of stood out to you in, the, in a positive mindset coming out of this one? Well, there's a lot of positives in the game. I mean, I felt really good about our competes. I felt good about, hey, we didn't, they hadn't played in a while, but we played last night. Uh, we kind of got, it looked like we were tired early, but got our skating legs and started to play hard. We got behind. We never panicked. We kept driving things to the net, made some plays. Like, I was pleased with all of that, but at the end of the day, um, it just, you know, we, we, we played on our heels to start the third period, and that's what happens. You know, you, you, we gave them some momentum, and obviously then they were able to get to a couple of, you know, those are really tough breaks that we had in the third period, um, you know, with a blown tire and a, a tip-in on our own. But at the end of the day, if you're not on your heels, I don't think those things happen. So I think that the most unfortunate thing we have to learn to do is we just got to be a better third period closing out team. And I, I feel like we're on our way to that. I felt we were very close today to being that. I liked the way we finished the game on the six on five. I thought we had two great opportunities to score. Um, and I just think we have to be better at the end. And again, I've said it before, but you know, that's a team that's uh, won a championship and they finish and they're never out of a game. And, you know, if uh, Scotty Morrow doesn't play tonight, who knows what happens in this game. But, um, you know, we're a better team than the resolve, I believe. Question from uh, Mike Macknick. Yeah, power play seemed to be uh, seemed to be getting better. I know you got the goal, but besides that, you showed some different looks and you know different guys in some situations. Uh, what did you think overall of the power play tonight? I really liked it after our first one. Um, you know, we did a nice job moving the puck. We did a nice job getting entries in the zone. I thought our guys had a really good job getting entries because they were a real hard team to get over the line on it. Um, and then we did good possession into, into opportunities. Uh, so that was a real good step. Our PK was one for one. Um, so th there was there was a lot of positives in this game, but you know let's not mistake it. We came here to win the game, and we lost. So it's um, you know I don't want to I don't I don't want the players to to um, lose the positive because every game's a growth a growth opportunity, and tonight was too. But um, you know we're, we're leaving the rink a little uh, frustrated, aggravated, angry, uh, and that's a good thing. Question from uh, Mike McMahon. That work on the power play, it kind of felt like that started a little bit last night. You had the goal. I think Forsmark had the goal right as the power play ended at Brown last night. Same thing tonight. I think it was him again, too, that scored right as the power play expired. Did you kind of get a sense that even though you didn't have a goal on the board, that you were kind of getting closer to, to breaking through there on the power play? Yeah, I thought we were going to – I did think we were scoring on the first one. Um, and it's all really about confidence, and I thought that our – I thought our team, you know, we clearly had more offensive confidence and that bled into the power play. That might have helped get seven last night. But I think, you know, I felt like all the guys going over the wall, those are those are good players and good power play players. They've had success before here and before they got here. Uh, so it's a matter of time. If we can get that going into the direction I think it can go, it could be a really positive thing for our, our team. You know, you get scoring your power play makes every life a lot easier. Question for me, Ian. This game obviously wasn't on your schedule heading into the holiday break, and then Yale has issues on their end, and the Saturday game got postponed. How do you feel the team as a whole kind of managed, you know, the quick change of things coming back from the holiday break and everything like that? Obviously, they went through it at multiple times last year with, you know, the whole COVID thing. But, you know, coming into this year, I'm sure a lot of people were kind of thinking, you know, we're going to have a schedule and we're going to be able to stick to it, and then – you know, the whole wrench gets thrown in the plans a couple of days before you guys get set to take off to head down to Yale. Yeah, it, it um, you know what, it's, uh, I think I, I love the way our players responded to it. You know, we were on the bus getting ready to go down to Yale. I mean, it wasn't like we got the call the day before. We were literally on the bus going to Yale. And um, I thought the guys responded really well, you know, and 
um, getting an opportunity to come here and I, I give you mass credit for scheduling the game with us so quickly. Um, obviously not the best situation for their fans or for, or even for their administration. Uh, but trust me, we had other teams that wouldn't play. So uh, I give UMass a lot of credit for playing and, and, uh, it's going to be interesting. Hockey is probably going to have to get involved here because it doesn't look like this is going to be the first time this is going to happen or the last time, but I give them a lot of credit for scheduling the game. And it was a, obviously another uh, opportunity for our guys to play. Question for Mike Macknick. Uh, Logan Drevich seemed to have an extra jump in his step and scores that nice goal for you there late in the first period. Uh, is that the kind of thing that, that I know he's been feeling probably a bit snake bit lately? Do you think that could get him going? Yeah, I think so. You know, when offensive players don't uh, have success, it, it, they squeeze the stick a little bit and it makes them less successful. But I think um, you know, we have a, a few guys who are on that edge and he's one of them. But um, I expect big things offensively from a, a few of our guys. I think we're really close to having uh, our lines pretty close to moving forward. And I, I, I feel confident in our offense and we'll continue to grow defensively, but you know, this one hurt. 